Man, I guess we're just serving it with the New Jersey Devils content, aren't we? Now, I know yesterday it wasn't necessarily a Devils-related video that we made, but we did talk about the New York Rangers in a way that kind of made Devils fans feel good about their team. So, you're welcome. Today, though, we're going over a topic that I actually had on the back burner for a while. It's just with the playoffs going on, with the Devils doing their thing and eventually losing to the Carolina Hurricanes, there wasn't really an opportunity to bring this up because, okay, the main thing going on with this team is the playoffs. People don't want to see news and rumors and all this stuff updates and player analyses when the team is literally in a playoff hunt in a season where they really, I mean, you could say they overachieved, but they definitely did play well, let's just say. And so today what we're going to do is go over onto a New Jersey Devils subreddit post from two weeks ago. The title is WOW, and it was posted by Brienne D. J. D. N. D. Yeah, I'm not going to try to read that out because you can understand why. But what they did was they posted a head-to-head -head comparison of two NHL players. You already know who it is from the title and thumbnail of the video, but Nico Hischier from 2018 to 2023 was compared to Patrice Bergeron from 2004 to 2010. So the first five years, essentially, of each of these guys' NHL careers. Now, as we know, Patrice Bergeron is one of the best two-way forwards of all time, if not Maybe the undisputed best? I mean, he's really good. All the Selkie nominations, all the Selkie wins, goes out there and speaks for itself. Let's go over on a Bergeron and see just his profile over here. I didn't have this open before we started recording this video, so I have to search it up on the fly here. But Bergeron has five Selkie trophies. Oh boy, how many nominations has he had? Finalists. There you go. Okay, so it's actually showing the amount of times he was nominated just in total. So the times that he won and the times where he didn't win, 12 times. He has been in the top three of Selkie voting 12 times. And he has been so since, what is that, 2011, 2012? Every single year he has been there. 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. He has all been nominated. And that's wild. Seriously. Sure, he's won it five times, but the guy has gone out there and established himself as a beast while also producing numbers on top of that. Patrice Bergeron had a career-high season of... What was the most points he had had in a year? 79 points in 65 games played in 2018-19? Yeah, that appears to be it. He's had multiple 60-point years, a few 70-point years here and there, but Patrice Bergeron has really become just an absolute stud when it comes to defensively-minded hockey. And the reason it's interesting is because if you compare Nico Hischier's first five years to Bergeron's first five years, you could see that Hischier has the edge in games played slightly. He's got five more games than Bergeron. He's got 10 more goals. Bergeron has four more assists, Hishier has six more points, a better plus-minus rating, and then Bergeron has more penalty minutes, more power play goals, and everything else sort of aligns there. Shorthanded goals, Hishier has five compared to Bergeron's three, Bergeron had more game winners and shots on goal. But either way, when it comes to Nico Hishier and the way that he's developed so far, the way he's been playing really started to establish himself, in my eyes at least, as a guy that was, dare I say, worthy of being taken first overall. Now, sure, maybe just first overall in general, not first overall in 2017, because if you asked pretty much any NHL fan, even Devils fans, I think they'd rather have Elias Pettersson over Nico or Kale McCarr Heiskanen over Nico, but when it comes to what Nico Hischier has done this season... Just right away, right there, captain of the team, 81 points, 31 goals, 49 assists for 80 points on the season. That's a first overall player caliber year, is it not? I mean, sure, Jack Hughes had 99 points, and he also was a first overall guy taken two years after Nico. But his year, at 24 years old, has sort of molded himself after being this solid two-way guy who had some point production struggles earlier on in his career into being an 80-point player. He had 7 points in 12 games for the Devils in the postseason, and he captained the squad as well, so we all kind of understand the leadership role Nico has on this team. 
And the interesting thing about the Bergeron comparison is we had already talked about Bergeron's career year in terms of points in a season. 79 points, 65 games played. So, okay, the number, if you multiply it out by 82, 79 divided by 65 multiplied by a full season, that's on pace for 100 points, 99.6. So, even though Nico Hischier went out there and literally bested out Patrice Bergeron's just regular point production number in a season, Bergeron had the better year, per se, because he was on pace for 100. So, there's still a ways away to go before that in Nico's career, because in Bergeron's case... This 100-point caliber year came when the guy was, what is that, 2019, so he was born 1985, 34 years old? Nico Hischier's 24 right now. He's got a lot of time to go out there and catch up to Bergeron in terms of the point metrics, but when it comes to just the holistic approach to the game that Nico has embodied, not only is it the two-way responsibility, not only is it the leadership, but it's also the points as well. And so when it comes to this guy and the way he's developed, everybody talks about Jack Hughes, and rightfully so, he's so talented. But Nico, their prince, hey, he's really gone out there and grown significantly too. Bergeron also never won his first Selkie trophy until, what was that, 2012? He was nominated Actually, never. He wasn't nominated until 2012. So Bergeron, when was he drafted? 2003, right? So it took him until he was, what is that, 27, 26, 28 years old to get nominated for his very first Selkie Trophy. Nico Hischier got nominated this year. So that's already a pretty big step up on Patrice Bergeron. Now, of course, Bergeron wasn't a first overall guy. He was taken second round 03, 45th overall. But Nico Hischier, for a guy to have kind of come back in this way after being touted as inferior to Heiskin and Makar and Pedersen for all this time. Sure, you could say he's probably still inferior in most people's eyes, but there is no slouch in this type of a hockey player either. He is, at the very least, a top four pick if you do a redraft. And when it comes to the way that everything else has come together for Nico, it's tough to go out there and say you wanted more out of this guy. He's already been nominated for the Selkie alongside of Mitch Marner and Bergeron. Of course, Bergeron is always there. Mitch Marner, I feel like him being included in the conversation is a pretty necessary and acceptable addition to the list. But Nico being right there too... That's going to be awesome to see. Whoever wins it, I feel like it's very well deserved. Marner, I feel it's a lot more difficult for him because he does not play center. So that, of course, is going to put him in a more difficult spot. Nico, though, a lot of defensive responsibility, captain leadership material as well in the room. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about how Nico Hischier has compared to Patrice Bergeron in their first five seasons of NHL action, as well as the fact that Hischier is now side by side with Patrice in that Selkie nomination. Do you see Nico having a similar career trajectory as Bergeron? Do you see Nico getting 12 Selkie nominations in his career? The guy got his first one at 24 years old. Bergeron got his first one a little bit later. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below for all y'all New Jersey Devils fans who want to go out there and talk about your team. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishaj Rolls 99. And bye.